What's up guys? Today we are putting brand new axles on the E30. Brand spanking new. So excited. Worked hard for these and I've been waiting for them. Thank you to my friends at EU Parts for helping me out. Hard work pays off. Let's put these on the car. What's up guys? Today we're putting new axles on the car. Fresh new GKN axles. Now these things are like... They're new! So we're putting those on the car today. It is going to be so fresh and so clean, so brand new, so tight underneath this car. It's going to be amazing. This is what that axle looks like. Brand new. I think that's the right term. If not, I will fix it right here for you so you know what it is. But uh, these are good. You see my old axles were rusty, too beat up, especially on the CV joints here. It was no bueno. So we put new axles on. I will show you how it's done. Do you even lift, bro? Yes. Yes, I do. I lift axles. Sorry. Gets a little lonely in the garage, folks. Alright. So, we just suspended that with some wire. Um, that way we can focus on the end there without having to hold it up. Alright boys and girls, let me clean that up for you. It's like company's coming over. We gotta look presentable. So what we're gonna do is use this guy. To pull this guy through. So we just thread this on. I know you can't see it. But we thread that on all the way. Pull it through, slide that on, followed by the washer, and a nut. And did I tell you this was 10 bucks? We tighten this, and you should start seeing this pull through. That's it. <clears throat> Beautiful. Have a look. See that? It's all lined up. It's nice. So now we'll put the lock plate in place. Do you guys remember how hard it was for me to get these out? Horrible! Now we're putting them back in. It makes no sense. No sense. 
Now before we put this this nut in, we're instructed to put a little oil on it. Now they didn't say what what kind of oil, so I'm just using a little a little three in one. I'm sure that's not the right oil. But it is oil. Now we're not going to torque that down because of the force needed to torque it. We're going to wait till the car is on the ground. So now we will bring our attention back there. I feel like that's why I haven't been making videos lately. Mosquitoes. Um, nothing seems to work. It's like I get one thing and then another thing is wrong. Um, so, Axle is in. This thing is a dream. It's amazing. $10 on eBay. Um, I'll put a title here. I'll try a link in the description, but it's an eBay item. Ford. Ford something or other. Just check the uh, thread pitch of your hubs. You can look that up in the real OEM. I use that all the time. I'll put a link below as well. Um, type in your VIN. Look up your part for your axle and it'll tell you the thread pitch and then match this up. Uh, this one, like I said, is an M22 by 1.5. Anyway, this thing was amazing. Worked just like it was supposed to. Pulled that thing right through. Um, didn't have to sit there and try to line it up and then break something. Yes, M22 by 1.5. So we're going to go ahead and do the other side. Um, same way. I guess I'm just going to put two bolts in each axle until I can figure out what I need for those little lock plates see these for some reason the distance here isn't equal to these GKN axles Nope, not at all. Which doesn't make sense because the, the... I think I bought these after I pulled the old ones off. Maybe I just got the wrong ones. So I'll get some new parts. We'll finish this install. But it's pretty simple. Use that Ford hub puller thing to... Um, Pull the threaded part of the axle through the hub, bolt this thing up. I'm not torquing everything until the car, sorry, I've been too close to the camera. I'm not torquing everything until the car's on the ground, because you got to torque this stuff really tight. Um, so I'll figure that out later. I've got a lot of torquing to do when this thing's done. Not a lot of torquing, a lot of torquing. Torquing. Alright, so... Uh, that's it. Let's put the other axle on. I guess this was pretty simple. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and we will see you soon. I make a mess in my garage when I work. But I clean it up when I'm done.